Hello friends, uh, it's Logan here, and uh, I am doing a dual commentary with a a friend, and uh, he's fucking with me right now. He's being silent because he's wondering what I'm going to say about him, and if you're wondering, this is my third time, so I gotta think of something brand new to say about him. Can't think of anything, so I'll go back to my first one. Uh, ask him about his lucky charms. Ask him. <laughs> I was like, go, introduce yourself. How's it going, everyone? My name's Paul or Paul. Doesn't really matter what you call me, because most of you don't know me. But whatever. But How's it going? They're gonna know you. They will. They will. Because mm. you're a beast. I say that every uh, time. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get. It doesn't get more like it's still a lie every time you say it. <laughs> Oh, good at all. So hilarious. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about is yes. YouTube. YouTube in general. And uh, yeah, so what we're, we'll start off by saying, um, or I'll ask Polly a question saying, Polly, what do you yes. think about the YouTube right now? What is YouTube to you from the gaming aspect? Um, YouTube, for me, from the gaming aspect, is a form of a hobby. It is not a full-time job. It's a full-time hobby. Uh, it's a f actually a full-time job for game reviewers, game developers, or game journalists. It's not, on the other hand, a full-time job for game direct independent directors because you you know it's not a proper job, and it sh you started as a hobby, and it sh well it started as a hobby and it should end as a hobby, and. That's the way it's going to happen for me, because I want a full-time job. YouTube's not going to be my full-time job, and that's why it's always going to be for me. And you know what? That's that's uh, um, that's basically what we've lost. Or not lost. I wouldn't say lost. I'd say that it's slowly dying with yeah. the uh, the partnerships and the, you know making so much money off of YouTube, where people can try to independently run themselves or, or support themselves from YouTube. Yeah. And uh, I really, really, really see that as uh, a problem, first of all. But, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to say it uh, is completely a problem. Obviously, you know, making money for a hobby is a great thing. It shows that your hobby is, uh, it's pushing forward. You know, it's, it's moving towards something better. But when you take it as, you know, my hobby is now my full-time job, and especially when it's something like YouTube. Like, I could see if you were making fucking model airplanes, and you were the best at it, and you started selling them on whatever fucking site, and making money from it, and then you could actually make that into a full-time job, but everybody is making YouTube videos, especially oh, okay. about gaming, and yeah, and, and exactly, like, you can't say that oh, well, I'm going to uh, set myself apart from those people by just doing it harder. Yeah. It, like, it's... Not anyone's doing anything different. Everyone's kind of commentating the same... Not maybe same style, but just same kind of thing over Call of Duty, over this game, over that game. Um, it's just the way you are, and if people like you, then they will subscribe. But then you see the people that abuse the... YouTube system and how it works just so that they can get more money and you know like false categorization uh, false tags like and favor to get to the home page and anyone who does that is scum it's just <clears throat> it's, it's a hobby and are you that di like it's not a full time job imagine like me going to my dad imagine if my dad was a YouTuber he did game videos and my mom did game videos why don't my whole family do game videos if it's a full-time fucking job, you know? Yeah, the family business. It's, <laughs> it's still... Imagine all of us doing YouTube. Oh, what do you have to do for today, Paul? Oh, I have to do two YouTube videos. And he's like, yeah, you better. You fucking better. No, it's not like that. Yeah. You know, it's not It's not a job. It's a hobby. You, you sit on your ass. And anyone who says this is hard, it's not. You sit on your ass... You record a video, maybe you snip it a little bit of uh, editing, a little bit of editing. Like, I know we're sounding a bit harsh when we say a hobby can't, like it sounded like we said a hobby can't be a full-time job. No, a hobby can be a full-time job, such as sports, um, 
you know, painting or whatever, you know, anything like that. And YouTube can turn into it. Uh, you could go to game journalism, you know, go on game, like, you know, anything. Working in a game store, become game manager, game developer, blah, 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 you know. But YouTube is not a form of a job. It's really lazy. I was brought up to believe in hard work gets you places. You know? uh, it, yes, I, I, you know what? And that's that's funny you say that because I've always I've always believed that um, YouTube is it's fun. I have a lot of fun doing it. But yeah. uh, if I ever had to let it go, I hope it's because I got a full time job where I work. Because where when I grew up, my dad. He fucking worked in a mill, a paper mill. Yeah. Just fucking 12, 12 hours in, 12 hours out, 12 hours in, 12 hours out. You know, he'd have his, his shifts. He'd work 48 hours a week and he'd work his ass off. Yeah. And that's the only thing I remember. When when he would talk to me, he'd be like, you know, having a job is it's uh, it's terrible because you have to go to that job and it's terrible being there, but... You have to do it, and you know he he kind of raised me with that mentality that you know um, you have to work hard to get something. You know you can't just like obviously if I won the lottery he'd be fucking smitten. But the fact yeah. that you know he wants he wanted me to grow up knowing that hard work is where it's at. You know that is the way that you should kind of um, uh, express yourself. You know you should you should be a hard worker. And yeah, uh, yeah. You, you saying that really, you know, it's really important to like to like make that uh, uh, point kind of set out there. You know that it really takes hard work. Where, you know, on YouTube there are some people that actually do some really really hard work, like uh, these new um, what are they called the live action films that people are doing oh, based yeah, on video short games. Films. Yeah, yeah, I like them. They're they're good and they take a lot of hard work. Exactly, There's a lot yeah. of stuff behind them. Yeah, so like those people are putting in hard work and they don't want to just make YouTube videos for the rest of their life. They want to, yeah. they want to get into film, you know, they want to get famous enough where they get hired in to be, you know, to do this kind of special effects or directing for major films. Yeah. Gaming on YouTube should be a, f- a form of a stepping stone to what you then want to do next. And I want to do game development. So, you know, it's always kind of handy kind of being in there with games your kind of life and it doesn't even have to be a stepping stone it can just be a hobby like you like games post games and i'm not saying don't because there's always room for other commentators and uh the commentators now today have kind of set up people to believe that there's not when there really is you know yeah oh exactly like yeah like the the whole oversaturation thing i feel like on my personal channel before i started uh, making videos, I, I sub to everybody, everybody, because I loved watching videos. Now, yeah. um, you know, you talked about um, the tags, you know, messing up your tags or you know, messing up with uh, what is it called, Cater- categorization. Yeah, uh, that's dog shit. I I believe that you should be putting exactly what you are doing, so that yeah. the people that are sub to you actually have some fucking faith in you like because like if save someone if if you're putting up call of duty uh target is gaming target maybe even as entertainment that's as far as i would go but the like, <clears throat> pets and animals autos mm-hmm. and vehicles for call of duty how are you how are you ever supposed to build a fan base when you're stuck in pets and animals oh you know? exactly and you know what all in all as long as you you know as long as you treat this as a hobby and you and you do it the right way, I feel like uh, you're gonna you're gonna be happy with yourself. You know, don't look at the huge YouTubers. You know what they've done, what they've um, made themselves to be. You know, don't say like, oh well. You know, myself, I only have 1,200 subscribers, and I'm okay with that. I am perfectly okay with that. I'm not gonna uh, put myself down saying I only have. 1200 yeah. subscribers because when I started I had zero like I think what people misinterpret is when they see YouTube and that uh, if they go to the wrong director like when I first came on YouTube uh, the first director I think I watched was Gold Glove because I was watching Gears of War videos like back in the day 
<laughs> and like you know there's no money there's nothing and now i'm feeling sorry for the people that are just getting into youtube they come onto youtube and see people doing game videos and then you see like uh white something street oh mm -hmm. white boy 7th street yeah yeah and capital uh, letters for all of his titles yeah like, and then like i i use capital letters for certain mine but like in a funny sense like uh, this isn't call of duty you know just and but then I'll have like something stupid after. I yeah. kinda title mine, but his is just best black ops kill and it's pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I you know what? That's a point that needs to be brought up, you know. It's uh it's sad because like when I first came on to YouTube watching videos, it was because I couldn't it was Christmas, I didn't have uh, a gaming console and I just wanted to watch videos. You know what? And uh I came on and I'll tell you the truth, my my first and favorite uh, director was Tabe because he had a uh, stupid fucking voice and I thought he was hilarious, much like yourself. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> but you uh, know, like, he, he's never done a giveaway. He's never, I, in my opinion, um, exploited YouTube's problems. Oh, no. and yeah, he's, just... a, he's a good guy. He seems, yeah. like, well, he seems like a good guy, obviously. But when the new directors are like, okay, I'm going to start YouTube, I'm going to get a PVR, and they come on, they watch White Boy, and he's like, all right, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a PlayStation, but you're going to give me back one grand, and then I'm just going to buy another one and do it over and over and over. And it's the most stupidest process ever. Most scum. It's disgusting. Like, you get into YouTube for a hobby, and then you get that little snippet of greed, like that little bit of money. You just can't stop, you know? Yeah, and... You know, I, I don't want to call those people out saying, you know, you're, you just do this for the money, but it really seems that way. That's the only thing we see is yeah. the capital letters, the miscategorization, uh, the, the tags that are completely wrong, the, um, uh, you know, what else? Uh, the He did a video where he jumped in the snow in a fucking ghillie suit. Yeah. And he tweeted the shit out of it. He spammed the shit out of it to everyone, miscategorized and... Yeah, Ugh. and, and they got so many views for jumping. If I jumped in the fucking snow, I get like two views. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know? you'd do it for different reasons, though. Yeah, but it's just it's stupid how um, like they just abuse the YouTube system, and it, they put up a video every day for money. It's a hobby. It's not a full time job. Anyone who sees that as a full time job, that's an independent director. Okay, safe. Yeah, if you're homeless or need money and you do YouTube, then that's fine. If you have a perfectly good reason. But if you're just, you're well off, you have good money, but you just want to be a little greedy arsehole, 